Well, I just cleaned up a pretty interesting rock. Here we go. This came from a mine beside Cross Lake outside Cobalt, Ontario. Those mines were known for silver and gold. As you can see, this one has a gold hue to it. So the question is, is this pyrite or gold? There's some simple field tests that can be done. The first one, if you're really unsure, look at it in the sunlight and then tilt it away from you. Let me see if I can do that for the camera. And, and what should happen if it's pyrite is it almost goes dark or brown. Pyrite is kind of a cubic crystal and it really only shines in one direction. A scratch test because gold is soft. So with the scratch test just try to use a knife and pyrite will flake off. Gold will tend to dent. Now where you run into trouble <laughs> is sometimes there's gold and pyrite in the same rock. There's what pyrite looks like. Let's do the uh, the angle test on it and you can see scratching it it actually even sounds different but you can see the pieces pop off. That's flaky. That rock's heavy. It's a pound and a half. The pyrite's also heavy. So it's interesting but it's not definitive. If you have pyrite just put the pyrite beside it and see if it looks the same. If you have gold gold nugget there we go. Here's a caribou BC gold nugget. You put it beside and lo and behold you can tell the difference. Let me see if I can do that. See that? Oops, don't want to lose my nugget. It kind of puts whatever that is to shame. If it's crystal at all, um, that tends to be pyrite. Pyrite in its pure form is, is actually a cubic crystal. My confidence in this rock is low, as being gold, but you can see it is dendritic, which might make a really, really nice slice. There may be silver in here as well, so I'll be looking out for that. And if I did think this was gold, um, what I would do is because I only have the one rock. There's no point saying it for fire assay. I'd break a piece off, I'd crush it really fine and pan it. Because in a pan, you can really tell the difference between gold and pyrite. Gold stays right in the edge of the pan, pyrite just dances around as you swirl the water. This is an all metal detector. If I run it across the pyrite, nothing. If I run it across this rock, there is some sort of other metal there. The thing those mines are known for is hot rocks. And in this case the hot rock is, is iron. Hear that? It's also a metal. But that's not the only metal detector that I have. So I've also got a Fisher FZ F75. Let's just do a couple of things. I think I got that. That's the gold nugget. And it is showing up as a 21. Mr. Rock is a solid 14. Mr. Hot Rock is a solid 1, so a very low signal. And here's the pyrite. Nothing. So, pretty good indicators, but what I am going to do is slice Mr. Rock. If it turns out it has gold, I'll be kicking my butt. <laughs> I want to see what's inside. Let's do it. So for this run, I'm going to do something a little different. I've put a gold pan into my tile saw to capture the dirt 
and, and liquid as it pours off during the cut. I want to have something to pan when we're done. So, the rock itself fractured, and it is, by the look of it, dendritic. We'll look at it in detail in a minute. We should try another slice. Maybe a bit wider this time. take a look okay so I've got a bucket set up for panning there's the stuff let's see let's see what we got Okay, so what I want to do is take those bigger rocks out. I'll look at them individually later. seen anything that's reacting like gold would. Well that was fun but you know no matter how much you want it to be gold <laughs> it either is or it isn't and this I'm confident isn't. But it made for some spectacular slices, eh? Look at that. Take some snaps, and we'll do it again with another rock soon. Thanks for watching.